camera's not steady at all. <laughs> We are trying to catch up with some club members this morning to go run a trail and it's a new to me trail to the asbestos mine. Hold your breath. Well, here we are on uh, State Route 288. We just went past the Salt River Recreation Area, tried to get some video of the bridge, but the camera was acting up. But <clears throat> not far up the road here, there is a Crested Saguaro. There's the Crested Saguaro, Jim. I'm going to stop and take a picture. I'm not sure they really know what causes a Crested Saguaro. They are pretty rare. I've had some, some videos of one before. Check out this one. But I don't come through this area very often. And so I knew that the next time I came through here, I wanted to stop and get a picture. So. so this is a typical crested saguaro cactus that you will find in Arizona. back in here. This would be a really nice fall camping trip maybe. I can see it's going to get kind of warm out here today but it's beautiful. There's a little creek down to the left of us here. It's got a little trickle of water in it.
one of those obnoxious people with a drone, right? Obnoxious? Yeah, obnoxious. Where I'm walking out in the middle of nowhere and I get over my head. Well, I think it'd only be obnoxious if somebody's taking video of you while you're squat down taking a dump. Oh. So we're getting ready for Chad to go and I already had to spot him once because he got hung up twice on a rock that drank. Grand Cherokee went up with no problem. Stock 2019. Nice and slow. Put it up by the curb. Well, the curb. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, well, that was it. All right, turn a little driver and go forward just a smidge. That was a damn good line, Jack. It was a good line.
view. Right out straight over there is Four Peaks. Down below there is Roosevelt Lake. There's a lot of smoke in the air from the Woodbury fire. Now, truth be told, the trail we're on today is more or less the more, more difficult, most difficult trail that I've taken Chewy on since I bought it. <clears throat> uh, not so much technically, but just because ground clearance. Uh, Chewy just doesn't have the ground clearance right now. Uh, haven't gotten him lifted, so as a result, I found the skid plates. littered with old mine shafts and old mine claims and um, some of them still active. You do have to be aware of where you are. But I always try to uh, think about good practice which is to stay out of those mine shafts because you don't know what's made a house of it, number one. Um, number two, you could get lost in one of them. Uh, number three, you don't know what kind of gas is inside those mine shafts. And I'd hate to be one never found again because I found dangerous gas in a mine and nobody knew where it was. Those mine tailings over there, and then right down here, All right, folks, we are off the trail. We're done, got all aired up, sitting in here with a nice air conditioning, getting ready to roll down the hill. And the asbestos mine trail was a blast. Really thoroughly enjoyed it. Chewy is a little low. I, I think I've hit every skid plate underneath him today. Uh, but you know what? We survived. He's in one piece, and we're headed home. If you're finding me for the first time, please consider a like, a comment, or a share, those really help me out, and I love reading your comments. If you're returning to the right line, well, welcome back. And thanks for checking out all of my adventures with Chewy. See you again next time.